Hello, my band of crew, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be me doing a tier list of all the playable characters in Crash Team Rumble. Now that the game is officially over with updates and we have no more alterations to the characters or their stats or how much damage they do, I feel that I can give an accurate tier ranking of all the characters. If this is your first time coming to the channel, I release Crash Bandicoot content every weekend. I discuss lore, theories, news. I do tier lists. I do interviews. I also have a Crash Bandicoot podcast that I do with my friend JB. So, if any of that sounds interesting to you at all, please consider subscribing to the channel. I love that my fandom is growing, and I would like for you to join my band of crew. Welcome back. So, we have all of the characters listed... As I continue on, the other ones will show up on the bottom of the screen. We've got Ripto, Dingo Dial, Brio, Female Trophy, Ripperoo, and Elora off the screen. So without further ado, let's jump into this and rank the characters. So, I'm going to start with Crash, and we're going to bring Crash. I would say that Crash is probably the most balanced character, which is suiting because he's the mascot, he's the main guy. His Quantum Dash was a nice introduction into this. I like this triple spin from Crash 4. Um, it did take some time getting used to the, the different <laughs> controls from the platforming. Like, when you would hit triangle, it would bring up the HUD and stuff. And the sliding's different, and like e everything's just a little bit different. So it took a while to get used to it, but I give him a solid B. He's right in the middle. He's not terrible. He's not amazing. Then we will go to Alternate Tana. Alternate Tana, I would put a little bit above Crash because her uppercut slam down ability is kind of broken. Like, I KO people on accident. <laughs> if we're by the bank and they're guarding the bank and there's a hole by the bank and we're fighting, I have knocked out people plenty of times by accident just trying to attack them to get them away. So that speaks good for her that you could KO people by accident. So she's going to the A tier above Crash, but she's not quite S tier yet. Then we go on to Catbat. And Catbat's mobility, being able to fly all over the place, he can go just directly up. I like using Catbat in the levels, uh, the mini games like uh, What's Juicin', where you have to get to the top of the trees to grab the eggs, or you get up to the top platforms to grab the pink melons and stuff. And Catbat just has ups. I would give Catbat, he also gets the A, just because on top of everything that I mentioned, he also has the ability to throw burgers to himself and regenerate his health. Yeah, all the characters can regenerate their health over time, but Catbat just like throws out a burger, gets a small recharge, throws out a burger, gets a small recharge. So the only downside to Catbat I would say is he doesn't have a really good combo unless you're like a really really good player I've seen some people go crazy with Catbat I personally am not like the upper echelon of Crash Team Rumble players but I would give Catbat the A now this may be controversial because it's a Crash game but Spyro is getting the first S Spyro can zip all around the arena. Yes, there is a limited amount of charging, but that charge bar refills quite fast. And you don't really need to use up the entire charge bar. You just charge up the people, flame them, headbutt them. He's very good. You could do combos with Spyro very easily. And then his flight and his gliding, he can get all over the arena. Like if you're in Tiki Towers, man, Spyro is gone. So Spyro gets the first S. The first S. And then we move on to Coco. I have seen a lot of broken Coco players. 
they do the quantum shield, and then they do a quick jump and they're able to do another burst of speed. The shield doesn't pop up again, but you can still hit the characters by diving into them. Um, I don't really want to give her an S because I don't see everyone being S tier with her, but they're definitely she's definitely an A. I'd give her an A. Which then brings us to Cortex. Cortex is an S. There's no, there's no way around it. In one of my other ranking videos before I was familiar with all the characters, I put Cortex lower down. But Cortex definitely 100% gets an S. He has his, his teleport move. He can get around the arena real fast. He can transform people into animals and then charge into them, send them flying, drop pianos on them, zipping around the arena. Um, I, I do really well with Cortex, but then when I, when I face, like, Cortex mains, they completely destroy me. So, Cortex is definitely another S character. Then we're gonna move on to Engine. I give Engine a mid. He's B. I would rank him higher, but there, you can, like, if you are playing as Engine, and you know what you're doing... You can get some really sick combos on. You throw the speaker down. You throw the little shurikens. You can do the explosion blast like the Wario fart from Smash Brothers. Like, there's a lot of good combo potential if you're playing as him. But if you know what to expect with Engine, the only move that's really a complete bother is that shuriken technique. And it doesn't really do that much damage. And it, you can still avoid it. Even though it's like a homing attack, if you're far enough away from it or you duck behind something, it will not loop around and get you. So, he could be much better, but I, I don't feel comfortable putting him up in A or S, so we'll leave him with a B. Ripto. Ripto is getting the first C. Ripto does not have many ups. He has the water attack to go up but I personally am not really that good with it, and I haven't seen many people that are. It's quite clunky. His lightning attack is also very easy to dodge, and he's just slow. Like, you could run circles around him with other characters. I like Ripto as a character, but I don't like playing as Ripto per se. Which brings us to Dingo Dial. Dingo Dial is going to join his buddy Ripto on C2. Dingo Dial, I've seen a good few Dingo Dial mains that can work with the vacuum and the tail whips. I can never really get into Dingo Dial, and whenever I play as Dingo Dial, I get destroyed. Like, there's no question about it. Some people can do their combos really well. Me, when I play as him, I'm slow. I have very difficult time trying to get up on platforms and it makes it even more difficult when you have good players chasing after you like a Cortex or a Spyro just chipping away at your health boom 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 and then you're dead so he will get a C and now we are getting brought to our first D of the video Dr. D Drio Dr. Brio he is so slow and so ineffective that it's annoying. I have seen, I keep saying this in like every character, I do see some people who are really good with them, but the vast majority, myself included, it just seems so hard to main as him. It takes way too long for his monster technique to, to um, trigger, and people just come over and smack me in the face and I go flying backwards. So the only time you can really, like, get people is when they're not expecting it. You can't just sit and try and guard the bank because you're, you're, you're right there. There's nowhere to hide. So if you aren't guarding the bank and you're just running around the arena, yeah, I could see, I could see you being able to beat some people up with the monster form. But when it's just you and one other person, no matter how many flasks you throw at me, I'm going to dodge the flasks and I'm going to punch you in the face and you're going to go flying and you're not going to be able to turn into that monster form. I do know that he got a buff 
he was terrible. I, I'm pretty sure he got a buff. I might be speaking out of turn. He may not have gotten a buff, but he overall, he's getting D. He is the worst character. I do not like playing as him. Now we're going to move on to female trophy. No surprise here, everybody. She is getting the next S tier. She can move around that arena real fast, and before they patched her off, if you jumped during the final swing of your combo, you would launch yourself across the arena. It was so much fun to do. Obviously, I know that it had to be removed from the game, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, but she could get around the arena real fast. She has quite a plethora of attacks. She can go very high, like on, um, again, the Tiki Towers level. You can get up to the gem platform quite easily and fast. And I know this is kind of like breaking the tier, and I'm not talking about like the game per se. I love all of her skins. I just unlocked the Steampunk skin, and holy crap is it awesome. I had the Toasty Sheep skin. Just like, I love all of female trophy skins. Then we're going to move on to our boy, Mr. Blue, Ripperoo. Ripperoo is getting... I'm torn between A and B. I'd probably put him above Crash. So let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like this. That's S, Spyro, no, Cortex. Cortex, Spyro, Trophy. And then for A, I think that's about, eh, we'll go like that. For A, and then C, D. Okay, that all works, yeah. So, I would have to give him a high B, a low A, Ripperoo. I'm not really good with Ripperoo, but I've seen a lot of people be really good with Ripperoo. <laughs> For some reason, the real good Ripperoo players, they will blow me up almost instantly. Three bombs. Bam, bam, bam. I'm gone. I don't know how they're so proficient and how they aim so well, because when I throw a bomb, people can dodge it pretty easily. Um, him being able to get around the arena with that cannon attack is really cool, too. So I'm very confident with giving Ripperoo a B, because he's our bro, our, bro, our blue bro Ripperoo. And then we move on to our last character of the game, and that is Alora. Alora is a cutie pie, but unfortunately we are not ranking her based off her cuteness. So she's joining Brio down there. So our final roster tier list is Cortex Spyro, Female Trophy for S, Cat Bat, Alternate Tauna Coco for A, Ripperoo Crash Engine for B, Dingo Dial, Ripto for C, and Brio Alora for D. Alora is she is just like a damage sponge if you're able to get away and regenerate your health. I always saw it as a jump off the arena and just float where they can't reach you to recharge your health and then come back and keep throwing wind at people. But she, she's good at surviving. She's not good at dealing damage. So if you want to just run away and be annoying, pick Alora. If you want to be able to beat people, do not pick Alora. So, Band of Crew, that was my ranking of the Crash Team Rumble characters. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you disagree with some of my picks, let me know. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.